it, it is quite astounding how much of a bubble that there is politically speaking in Ireland at the moment. Like the political system is quite distorted at the moment in this. And I think the mechanics of that bubble were really visible during this process because I know of political parties that actually took their cue of some of the NGOs and the NGOs are under phenomenal pressure and actually like Roger Gorman made a veiled threat at the start in this yeah. he said that organizations would have to explain their progressiveness if they they, they go against the government a, a, a amendment and they okay. are highly dependent on government funds just to, let me to just exist. say on that we did uh, we did ask uh, Roger Gorman mm -hmm. if he wanted to join us this evening he wasn't available and he did respond <laughs> He did respond to that. We asked a number of questions then in relation to these issues and he said in relation to that statement that he put out at the time, he said the minister's point was that there would be an onus on an NGO that considers itself to be socially progressive to explain why it had not supported what he regarded as a socially progressive amendment in the constitution. But I just want